thank you. Uh, the president has not been shy about undoing many of the previous president's policies, many of them. Why not undo this one, particularly since the Taliban have abrogated already what they agreed to back in Doha with, uh, with, with President Trump? You're referring to the agreement that President Trump made with the Taliban uh, in February of 2020, which set a deadline, be out by May 1, 2021. Walking away from that was not just kind of a cost-free proposition for the United States. On May 2nd, the Taliban offensive was going to start. The Taliban onslaught was going to happen. And the question facing the president was, would increasing numbers of American troops be in the teeth of that offensive, or would we draw a bit down and try and give all the capabilities necessary for the Afghan government and the Afghan army to step up to that? That is the decision that he took. That is the situation that he was placed in with a mere 2,500 troops in country when he took over. This was a choice between dramatically ramping up forces to fight or drawing them down to end our military involvement. And that's the choice that he made. Yes. The President said yesterday that he urged Afghan leaders to engage in diplomacy and seek a political settlement with the Taliban. But, quote, this advice was flatly refused. Does the President feel he had a willing partner in President Ghani? Look, I would just say the President was reporting the facts as they unfolded. I'm not going to characterize anything about President Ghani at this point, who is no longer a factor in Afghanistan, and I don't think there's much merit in, in me weighing in more deeply on him. Yes. Mr. Sullivan, 